Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your day. Wanted to hop on and ask you guys a question that God asked me a while back that I needed to ask myself kind of a deal. And ever since he told me to ask myself this question, it kind of radically adjusted the way that I allocated my time and the way that I structured my day and just the things that I was choosing to put as top priorities in my life. And he, that question was this, Jill, what are you sowing in your personal life on a daily basis? So our scripture for today comes from the book of Galatians. This is going to be Galatians chapter six, verses seven through nine. And it says, a man reaps what he sows. Whatever sows to please their flesh, the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in what doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So this whole concept is you reap what you sow, right? And what God showed me in my personal life a while back is he said, you're sowing sparingly into the parts of your life that actually have the most importance and that will produce the most fruit. And you're sowing a lot into things that are kind of time wasters in your personal life or things that are not quite as productive into areas of your personal life. And as a result, that's why you're not walking in a full life of victory. And it really stuck with me. You know, our other scripture for today comes from Hosea chapter four and verse six. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of, of knowledge. Amen. And so if you want to reap a harvest in any area of your personal life and walk in success, you got to be willing to sow something, right? You know, this concept is so practical and so simple, and yet it goes over our head so much in our lives, right? So if I'm a farmer and I am going to, you know, want a crop to come up, let's say that I'm growing corn, right? You know, I'm not going to have a harvest if I don't initially go and plant the seed and work the field, amen, I have to sow something if I expect a harvest to come out of that. And so that's where our question comes from today that God is asking us to all kind of examine our lives with is what are you sowing in your personal life? You know, for me, I was sowing a lot of time into stuff that really didn't have any kind of an eternal reward. I was sowing too much time, wasting time with social media. You know, I was sowing time into activities that were just, you know, kind of not helping me to be the most productive with my day, you know? And so when I shifted what I was sowing into, I started to see a better harvest in different areas of my life. And so I started to sow more time into studying the word of God. And so as, you know, our scripture from Hosea today said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Amen. So as my knowledge increased, as I started sowing more time in my day in the word of God, I started to see a harvest of my life looking a lot more victorious than it was prior to then when I wasn't prioritizing that, you know, uh, to the fullest extent that I could have been, you know? And so this concept applies to so many different parts of our life. If you want to sow a harvest in your health, you need to sow some good seed, right? You need to eat well. You need to work out, right? If you want to sow a good, you know, if you want to have a good harvest in your mind, you know, you need to be meditating and chewing on the word of God on a regular basis. You need to be doing what scripture tells you to, casting down wrong thoughts and making them captive under Christ, replacing them with the God thoughts and what God's truth has to say over your personal life, right? You know, if you want to sow in your finances, right, you've got to make wise financial decisions, right, and sow into things that are good and use your money well, right? You know, this concept applies to so many different areas of our lives. And so that's why I want you guys to do some examination today. What are you spending most of your time throughout your day sowing into? Amen. You know, we all get the same 24, 48 hours, right, you know, as we're going about our week. And what we do with that time is critical. And here's the deal. We need set times to relax. We need set times to have fun. Amen. But what happens is when we're not productive with the rest of our time, we'll notice that we often are not reaping a big harvest in our lives. You know, we're not walking in victory in the areas where we're called to walk in victory. So if you notice an area of your life where you're struggling or where you are experiencing some weakness, I want to encourage you guys today to go and to sow some seed. Amen. If you want to harvest, go sow some seed. And let me talk to you guys about what I'm talking about today. So faith has works, 
right behind it if we want to be successful in our lives. And so let's say that you're struggling with your health. This is something that I've been doing a lot right now. Go and sow some time into studying scriptures on health and getting truth ingrained in your spirit. You know, let's say that you are struggling, you know, in your finances kind of a deal. Go and sow some time studying scriptures on finances and implementing what God shows you to implement in your personal life, right? You know, we reap what we sow. And so often we spend way too much of our time, not even meaning to, it just kind of comes in, right? You know, sowing to things that don't have eternal, you know, importance is the way that I guess I would say that, right? You know, we spend a lot of time sewing into television. We spend a lot of time sewing into video games. We spend a lot of time sewing into, you know, random games on the internet, sewing into social media, right? And it's not to say that those things are completely bad. You know, with the right balance, that stuff can be good, right? You know, and we need some downtime, but it's when it starts to get off kilter and it takes over our entire day, that's when it can start to become a problem. Amen. And before you know it, you will not have a fruitful harvest if the majority of your time is spent on things that don't matter in the context of eternity. Amen. And so I want to encourage you guys today, you know, knowledge, our scripture from Hosea today said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know, how much time are you spending building yourself up in a place of knowledge? How much time are you spending focusing on the truth and the word of God? You need to sow the seed of that scripture into your heart. If you want to walk in victory in all these areas of your life, and if you want to see success, amen. So I'll leave you with that to kind of chew on today. And if God shows you something, when you bring this to him in your prayer time, get obedient with it. Start to sow some new seed and some good areas in your personal life, because eventually, just like that scripture said in Galatians, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up at the appointed time. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.